Welcome back to a new tutorial at PowerPoint Institute. Today, we're going to create an interactive portfolio using PowerPoint. In this tutorial, we're going to transform your resume into a dynamic, eye-catching presentation. We'll cover everything from adding interactive elements to making your portfolio stand out. So grab your coffee, settle in, and let's create something amazing together. At the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to turn your PowerPoint presentation into a polished professional PDF. Ready to revolutionize your resume? Let's get started. But before we jump in, have you subscribed to the channel yet? Go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more interesting tutorials. Ready? Let's get started. Insert text box. Click anywhere on the slide and type text using the basic font. We're keeping it simple. Just use the basic one. After that, copy the text box and in the new text box, select the text with your name and change the font to Roboto. Increase the font size so it stands out nicely on the slide. Right-click on the slide background and select Format Background. Choose a dark gray color from the color options. Now we will need to change the text color to white. Now it's time to add your image to your resume. I recommend doing a small photo shoot and saving your images. Place the image at the center of slide. Now, let's add four circular buttons to our slide. Insert a circle and change its dimensions to 2.5. Give it a label. Next, make three more copies of the circle. Label each one and place them at the four corners of the slide. Now that the first slide is ready, let's duplicate it. Right-click on the slide thumbnail and select Duplicate Slide. On the new slide, right-click on your image, select Change Picture, and then choose from a file to replace the image with a new one. Let's add some text relevant to you to this slide. Click on Insert, select Text Box, and type your text. Adjust the font, size, and position as needed. Once the second slide is ready, duplicate it by right-clicking on the slide thumbnail and selecting Duplicate Slide. To change the center image on the new slide, right-click on the image, choose Change Picture, and then select From a File to upload a new image. Next, add relevant text by clicking on Insert, selecting Text Box, and typing your content. Adjust the font, size, and position as needed to fit your slide. Repeat these steps for the third slide. Duplicate the slide. Change the center image by right-clicking on the image, choosing Change Picture, and then selecting from a file 
to upload a new image. Add relevant text by clicking on Insert, selecting Text Box, and typing your content. Adjust the font, size, and position as needed to fit your slide. Repeat these steps for the fourth slide. Duplicate the slide selecting Duplicate Slide. Delete all the text which is not necessary. Change the center image. This time let's showcase some of our projects using a screenshot of my YouTube channel video section. I am adding two rectangles and an animation technique. This time let's showcase some of our projects using a screenshot of my YouTube channel video section. I am adding two rectangles and an animation technique. With all five slides ready, there's just one step left to make it interactive. Go to slide one, click on the first circle, and then choose Insert Action. Set the action to Hyperlink To and select Slide Number Two. Let's create a small home button so that anytime we can return to the first slide. Copy the home button and paste it to all the other slide.
Now as a final step, insert action and link every circle to relevant slide. Now let's copy all the four circle and titles to all the slides and we are done. I just remember we need an indicator to show the audience on which slide we are. For this, just add an arrow. To add a transition effect to the presentation, select all the slides by holding down the shift key and clicking on each slide thumbnail. Then, go to the transitions tab and choose morph from the transition options. Hit F5 and check your presentation. After this, we will convert the PPT into an interactive PDF. To convert your PowerPoint presentation to a PDF, follow these steps. Go to File in the top menu. Select Save As. Choose the location where you want to save the file. In the Save As Type drop-down menu, select PDF. Click Save to convert your presentation to a PDF. That's it. 
your interactive PDF is now ready. Take a moment to explore and see how your dynamic slides have come to life. This polished PDF will not only showcase your portfolio in a professional format, but also offer an engaging experience for your viewers. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to check out more tips and tricks by subscribing to our channel. Enjoy the results of your hard work and feel free to make any final tweaks to perfect your presentation.